Hello, my name is Daniel Bazin. I am a senior physicist here at NSEL on the campus of Michigan State University. Today I will be talking about the RF fragment separator. The RF stands for radio frequency because as we'll see this device uses radio waves as well as the time structure of the beam to operate its magic. After the uh, primary beam is accelerated by the cyclotrons and smashed on the target, the A1900 fragment separator filters the isotopes that scientists want to study. But sometimes the filtering power of the A1900 is not enough. The RF fragment separator can purify the beam further so that, especially for uh, isotopes which have more protons than neutrons, and this type of isotope is especially difficult for the A1900 to filter. So the uh, RF cavity that you see beside me looks like a big drum, and for a very good reason, because it is indeed a resonator. However, you wouldn't be able to hear any sound coming out of it because it creates right away, produces radio waves at a frequency of about 25 megahertz. Uh, this is the same frequency used by the cyclotrons uh, to accelerate the packets of beam particles. So the RF uh, fragment separator uh, picks out the few isotopes that uh, scientists want to study by creating a field of radio waves that can deflect the unwanted particles. Uh, this deflection happens uh, between two horizontal plates which are located inside the cavity where the uh, radio waves have maximum intensity. Uh, because different isotopes have different speeds, they arrive at this cavity at different times and the radio wave can deflect the unwanted particles, that, those that we want to get rid of. So the uh, unwanted particles are stopped in a set of slits which are located downstream of the cavity while the isotopes of interest uh, continue on to the experimental station. This cavity is operated at a voltage of about 100 kilovolts, uh, which also means that it emits X-rays at this energy. Uh, therefore the perimeter around the cavity is secured whenever it is turned on.